what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey, what's up guys, Merrick here, and this is the Scarpa Instinct VS. It's an Italian made shoe that's been around for quite a few years now, and people seem to be loving it because it's really well designed, it's really comfortable, and it's just a great shoe all around. These are easily recognizable by their downturn and asymmetrical shape, as well as their black and orange design, which I think looks really good. The upper is made out of synthetic leather, so unlike real leather shoes, they're not going to stretch much throughout their life. So a year in, or even two years in, they're still going to be the same size as the day that you got them. As for the rubber, Scarpa uses Vibram soles, and for the Instinct VS, they specifically use a 3mm piece of Vibram's XS Edge rubber. It's harder than Trax and C4 rubber, so it edges a little better, and because it's thinner, it's able to still be pretty sensitive. Now for sizing, Scarpa recommends downsizing half to two full sizes. My street shoes are size 9, my Evolve Shamans were size 9, but for my instincts, I had to size them down to an 8 for them to feel snug. The Instinct VS is built a little wider, so it's recommended to people with wider feet. By comparison, La Sportiva Solutions are built for more narrow feet. In the end, the only way to know how to size them is to try them on. If you don't have a store that carries them nearby, you could order a few pairs online and return the ones that don't fit, which is what I had to do. The opening is kind of like a sock, similar to the Solutions so there aren't any flaps that you have to fiddle around with. I found this actually makes it a little harder to put the shoe on, as the opening is smaller, but once you do get your foot partially in, you can use the pull tabs to get your foot planted firmly inside the shoe. You then have a single velcro strap to make it extra snug, and what you end up with is surprisingly comfortable, and you can really feel the shoe hugging the entire surface of your foot. So here's a close-up of the opening, and you can see that there's no flap, but again, once you get your foot inside, it's really comfortable, because it's made out of a really soft, micro suede material. So now that we're done talking about the materials and build, how well does the shoe really perform? The toe box curls your toes inwards towards your big toe, and it's pointy, letting you be very precise with your footwork, which means you don't have to readjust your placement as often. And because the rubber's harder, it holds its edge very well, but it does have a little break-in period. With that said, it's still very sticky, and after a few uses, the rubber will become a little more flexible, and even though the shoe smear is great right out of the box, this increased flexibility will make it a little grippier. One of the things I love most about the shoe is the large rubber patch on top of the toe box. It's textured and super sticky, and I find that it really helps you stick those toe hooks. The midsole uses what Scarpa calls their bi-tension rand. It runs from the toes to the heel, and it's supposed to pull power from your toes, giving you more confidence on small edges, as well as maintain the shoe's downturn shape. A lot of other performance shoes have the same feature now, and for good reason. It actually works. It helps you feel a lot more sturdy on tiny foot chips and sketchy footholds. The heel cup, like the toe box, fits very snug. I found that it's slightly wider than the Shaman, so while it still created a suction on my heel, it left a bit of a space on the sides. But then again, I have really narrow heels. Regardless, I'm still able to put as much power down on my heel when I need to, and the rubber sticks very well. I also like how the rubber goes all the way up to the pull tabs instead of stopping halfway up like a lot of other shoes. If you find heel hooks to be painful, this is a feature that you'd really appreciate. Now, one thing I noticed was that the sides of the heel go up a little higher on your ankle, so there could be some rubbing, depending on your foot shape. After breaking it in though, you should stop noticing it. I've also heard stories of people splitting the rubber between the heel by yanking on the pull tabs too hard, so you gotta be careful. Like I said earlier, the Instinct VS is an amazing shoe all around. It's great on slabby problems, as well as overhangs. It's precise, yet comfortable. And at its price point, it can't really be beat. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.